Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at one of the longer sustainability type questions. These sustainability questions are very popular in um, D&T and product design um, and it's an eight mark question so you can see we've got a bit of a space there to fill it in. So this is quite tricky this one because they, the examiners said manufacturers are increasingly using biopolymers. Now if you immediately look at this you think oh by my, how am I going to write eight eight marks worth of question about biopolymers but really that's a bit tricky because it says and sustainable materials in food packaging explain why this is happening give examples to support your answer so they've kind of given you that break in there you can use biopolymers or sustainable and sustainable materials so you don't have to write all about biopolymers you're talking about food packaging and it says explain while this is happening so we got there and we've got give examples so you're going to explain and then give examples okay so let's get started as I say this is this is one that some people would might find daunting and I find that um, candidates often don't get the full marks so they can write the whole page but don't get the full mark so if we start and we say I'm going to write try and write in kind of block letters so you can see food packaging is usually um, disposed of soon after use. So that's our first um, a first statement that it's it, it's throwaway it's disposed of it um, we could say if I can get rid of that and we could say and consists of a range of materials that consists of a range of material uh, materials or different materials including polymers that's important okay so what we've said there is we've said this and then we said it, it's uh, packaging is a range of materials but it includes polymers which is important not biopolymers um, what happens to these materials so a lot of these are po uh, used disposed of they're polymers what happens to them well they can be recycled but they often don't and they often end up affecting the environment so we're still um, explaining why this is happening so we can say that um, these materials um, can be recycled um, but often uh, effect, I think it's effect, there we go, effect and effect, effect um, the environment um, by ending up in landfill. It's good to get these words in like in you know landfill things like that so you you know you're using the technical words um, or oceans and rivers so what do they do in the oceans and rivers uh, they harm wildlife harming wildlife Um, and ecosystems. Another good word, eco. Okay, so if we look at that statement, what we've done there is we've answered this first part, which says um, explain why this is happening. That's why it's happening, okay? So it's polymers ending up in the environment, ending up in rivers, ending up in landfill, and they're affecting or harming wildlife and ecosystems. That is our reason. So you know, I think really we'd almost get uh, out of the eight marks. 
probably three or four marks just for that statement because we've done this first bit. We, we've um, done this explain bit, why is this happening? So now we need to give examples to support our answer. Okay, so we can say um, to counter this um, manufacturers It's like talking about manufacturers up here, so we're referring to that. Um, are creating more sustainable, so they're creating um, more sustainable alternatives. Um, a greater use use of um, well paper and board that is sourced from sustainable forestry so we've mentioned sustainable forestry um, just as an example so if we look at this this comes from McDonald's it's when you order your two drinks you get them in here and this is made from um, uh, sort of reconstituted board which is from sustainable forestry I think with quite a large quantity, it might be 100% recycled, certainly high recycled. So that's an example of some sustainable um, packaging that is an alternative to using plastic or polymers. And that's from McDonald's. Um, I can add here is a good example. So it's here, we're on this part now. Give examples to support your answer. So there's example one. It says examples, so we better do two examples. Okay, so we've, we've done the explain. Now we've done the example. We need another example. Now, we've looked at sustainable materials because we've talked about that, the, the card, uh, paper and board, but we haven't mentioned biopolymers. So we need to add a biopolymer to get our eight marks. So we can say... Um, Um, materials that um, can replace polymers such as biopolymers an example I'm giving another example is um, coca cola plant bottles Okay, so Coca-Cola looks at some biopolymers, which are plant bottles, and they're made from or a percentage is made from, I probably should have said, uh, made from um, sugarcane. Uh, not, I think it's quite controversial because they, they aren't entirely made of sugarcane. They, there's a percentage they use of sugarcane, but it is a biopolymer. Um, we could add, we're, we're still trying to give an example. So we've given that example, we've given that example, I've got a little bit of space. We could talk about stainless steel cups. So obviously that's another sustainable material. So if um, we could say stainless steel re cups 
um, can be used for such as coffee. So that's another sustainable alternative. So there we go, so it's eight marks there. Um, again, read the question, look at the structure of the question, so biopolymers and sustainable materials in food packaging, then it's giving you this clear thing, explain, so we did this bit here which was the explain, and then this bit here which was the examples. And actually I've given the three examples of paper and board, the Coca-Cola uh, uh, plant bottle, and using stainless steel um, refillable cups. So I think that would certainly more than we needed for the eight marks. Um, and there's that question, okay? I'll just leave that there if you want to read through it. And thank you very much for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.